Peggy 18. Cerberus is probably the most tactically minded um, faction that you'll fight in multiplayer and in single player. They'll use cover a lot more, try to smoke grenade to move up. They do have a lot of slow pressure, but they can offer the rapid closing that the Reaper faction can. My favorite enemy is definitely the Phantom. They just force you to constantly be on the move. If you're in cover, they run at you with their sword. If you're out of cover, they're pounding you with their palm blaster. The Asari, she has stasis, which makes her amazing against the Cerberus faction. Extremely powerful against Phantoms. She can just lock them down anytime she wants. But she's not as strong against Guardians, for example. Whereas the human has a lot of good powers for debuffing the bigger enemies or crowd controlling the little guys. When you're fighting Geth, you have the troopers that are trying to close with you and put punishment down, but you also have pilots and Geth hunters covertly moving in on your location. So the most dangerous enemy on the Geth faction is the Geth Prime. He can spawn turrets, he can spawn uh, combat drones. Anyone with sabotage will have a great advantage against the Geth faction because they can actually hack Geth platforms and get them to fight each other. My favorite unit in the Geth faction is the Geth Pyro. You can take him from range by shooting his tank and having it explode and take out a bunch of units around him. So spatial awareness is extremely important when fighting the Geth. The Reapers in particular are probably our hardest faction right now just because they're so aggressive. Uh, the Banshee, the Brood, the Ravager, they just come at you and it's not like Cerberus where you can bunker down in an area and just take them out as they come. You really have to stay mobile. As a designer, I love to see enemies that are big, vicious, that get in your face and cause all kinds of problems. The most dangerous one is by far the Banshee. She can teleport at you, she can uh, sink kill you instantly. You can definitely hear her screaming, so you'll know when she's coming. You just have to stay in constant communication. And no one should ever stay close to a Banshee. Even the Vanguards, you do not want to charge the Banshee. So you're going to have a lot of different challenges fighting the different factions in multiplayer and single player. So good luck. Peggy 18. So the soldier is a heavy weapon class. So this is a class where you want to take a claymore, you want to take a revenant, you want to bring all the biggest heavy weapons to bear. So you're sitting mid-range, just popping shots down the field, putting damage on everything. I love the rage passive on the Krogan soldier, being able to charge and take an Atlas head on, charging, headbutting, opening everything up, causing the biggest amount of damage. Just being able to be a Krogan in the Mass Effect universe is amazing. So the Adept is your traditional crowd control biotic class. Uh, what makes them interesting in Mass Effect 3 is we've added a lot more biotic combinations. So you can combo, for example, Singularity with Shockwave or Warp with Throw. So that gives them kind of a, a new uh, type of gameplay where you can deal with those bigger enemies by doing biotic combos and doing high damage on the bigger guys. Well, the engineer is all about that heavy hitting damage power, like overload, incinerate. A really popular build with the Solarian engineer is a sniper rifle because you sit back, you launch your decoy out, take enemy fire off you, and then you just snipe and then use your powers from a distance. My favorite ability would probably be Overload, just because it's got that really nice uh, branching in the uh, evolution tree. You can either spec it to be like big crowd control, it's got like the chain overload so you can hit three guys, or you can spec it to be really powerful against shields, so you can hit that one atlas with like a ton of bricks. The Sentinel is a jack of all trades. He basically can take any role on the battlefield, which is really cool. So it depends on your play style. Do you like that movement? 
versatility or do you want to be the toughest guy on the battlefield? You decide. So the way I like to build a Sentinel, especially the Turian Sentinel, which is one of my favorite classes in multiplayer, is Overload Warp and Heavy Fitness. So you can deal with armor, barrier, and shields, which most classes cannot deal with. So I've seen fully level maxed Sentinels take down Atlases by themselves because of the warp throw combos. So don't give up on them, they're actually a very powerful class. The Infiltrator in multiplayer is a great class, great team class, because you can just do all the objectives. You can cloak while you're disarming a bomb, you can cloak while you're resing a friend, you can get away easily. Well, other than the sniper rifle, which is an obvious choice, the infiltrator is really good with a shotgun because he can cloak and get right up close to an enemy. There's a little trick with cloak. You get a huge damage bonus to your melee, your guns, and your powers, but when you decloak, that bonus sticks around for a couple seconds, so pound into the guy with anything you need. So the Vanguard is the in-your-face class. Most vanguards will be charging in with shotguns, novas, and just taking everything on the battlefield head on. The thing to remember with the vanguard though is that you're a single target killer, but you can also use nova to crowd control, which is a great tool to get out of situations. There are enemies on the battlefield that will give the vanguard a lot of trouble, like guardians for example. Getting through their shields can be a big pain, so if you're playing multiplayer or single player, you want to have a good team composition that can back you up and keep you as effective as possible. Charge, shotgun, Nova, get out of there. It's the best way. <laughs> Run and gun. <laughs> Peggy 18. Peggy 18. The shit you've done? Any other soldier would have been tried, court martialed, and discharged. That way they grounded me, took away my ship? None of them have seen what you've seen. You've been there in the trenches, fighting them. You know what they came to I know a thing or two about killing Reapers. This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are here. Sit 
city is now reinstated, Commander. Tell your friends we're coming for them. Peggy 18. Better with Connect for Xbox 360.